before our father Adam walked the earth, before the first sunrise painted the sky, there existed creatures destined to roam the land. The Jinn. God Almighty created all creatures, including angels, humans, and jinn. Angels are creatures that God Almighty created from light. They are beings created to worship God Almighty, glorify Him, obey Him, and never disobey Him. God created them with no choice in disobeying Him at all. Unlike them, the jinn and humans were bestowed with the gift of choice, the freedom to chart their own destinies, to shape their lives according to their will. But know that God Almighty has determined the decrees of all creation, meaning that God Almighty knows everything and knows what your end will be, and whether you will be among the people of hell or will you be among the people of heaven. Let us give a simple example so that you understand what destiny is. Now you are going to a restaurant to have lunch, and you ordered a steak to eat. The restaurant you went to is the one you chose, and you also chose the meal you will eat. But God Almighty knew that you would go to this restaurant and eat that meal, because God is the knower of the unseen, for He knows everything. Now, as you were leaving that restaurant, you were hit by a car and died. This is something you have no choice in, but God has destined it for you, and knows that you will go to that restaurant, and when you leave at the specified time, you will die in this way. Likewise, in all matters of your life, if you pray and worship God Almighty and fulfill all your obligations towards God, God Almighty will admit you to paradise, and this is something you have a choice about. But if you disobey Him, you know what your end will be, so you can only blame yourself. God Almighty created the jinn before humans, God Almighty said, and the jinn we created before from scorching fire. And they inhabited the earth like us, and God Almighty created them from the flames of fire, God Almighty said, and He created the jinn from a smokeless flame of fire. And the flame of fire will be more intense than fire, and its color will be intense red and yellow or red. It tends to be blue, and they are also free to choose, like us. The jinn are not devils. Devils are a description, not creatures. There are jinn devils and human devils, God Almighty said, and thus we have made for every prophet an enemy, devils from mankind and jinn. The meaning of this characteristic is that the one described with it is the furthest from truth and goodness. The jinn are beings whose sizes are smaller than humans. God Almighty distinguished them with abilities such as changing their shape to resemble other creatures, speed of movement, flight, and diving in the depths of the oceans. The jinn were creatures that quickly deviated from the truth, and with the passage of time, they spread corruption on earth, and because of their corruption on earth, God Almighty would send angels to fight them and kill them until what was left of them fled to the islands, oceans, and mountains and inhabited them. At that time, there were believing jinn who worshipped God Almighty. He praised Him a lot, and He did not spread corruption on earth like the rest of the jinn, so God Almighty made the angels bring this genie with them, and because of the strength of His faith, God placed Him with the angels close to Him, and His name was this genie Azazel, and He is Satan. May God curse Him, for He was not called Satan until later. God Almighty expelled Him from heaven, cursed Him, and transformed him after he disobeyed God, became arrogant, refused to prostrate to Adam, and whispered to him. God Almighty expelled Adam and Eve from paradise. We will make a video narrating how Adam and Eve were created and the reason for their exit from paradise in detail soon. The meaning of Satan is despair of goodness, remorse, and sadness. He was called Satan because God's mercy will never descend upon him. So God's curse is upon Satan, and God's curse is upon the demons of humans and the jinn. And remember, dear follower, nothing will benefit a person, not his money, his children, or his power. So persevere in your prayers, and remember God, and do not follow your desires, for this is the work of Satan, so do not let him overcome you and achieve what he wants. And pray for our prophet and beloved Muhammad, may God bless him and grant him peace.